If you want to spend less time on maintenance and less money on chemicals, switching to a saltwater hot tub is a great option. And you can convert almost any existing hot tub into a saltwater system. But a saltwater hot tub isn't completely hands off and you still need to add some important chemicals like pH decreaser. So before buying a saltwater hot tub, here's everything you need to know about how they work and how to convert to a salt system. Let's dive in. Real quick, before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your hot tub, be sure to grab our free hot tub cheat sheet at swimminuniversity.com slash spa sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your hot tub clean and clear throughout the year. First, what's the difference between a saltwater hot tub and a traditional hot tub? Instead of adding chlorine or bromine to your hot tub water, you add salt. That salt is then converted into chlorine or bromine through a saltwater chlorinator or brominator. That's right, a saltwater hot tub still has chlorine or bromine in your water, but instead of buying and adding those chemicals directly, you're buying and adding salt. The saltwater generator uses electrolysis to transform your water's salt molecules into chlorine or bromine, and after it sanitizes your water, it reverts back to salt. That means you hardly lose any salt as it continues to circulate in your saltwater system. For the generator to work, you'll need to add the right amount of hot tub grade salt to your water. And while it's chemically the same thing as table salt, it's a much coarser grind that works better in salt systems. So don't use anything from your kitchen in your spa. So just how salty is the water in a saltwater hot tub? A hot tub salinity level is between 2000 and 3000 parts per million, which is about a third of the salt in human tears. So you can't really taste it at all. For a salt water system, you need about two and a third cups of salt per 100 gallons of fresh water. That's about 11 cups of salt for a 500 gallon hot tub. If you decide to use a bromine generator, keep in mind that sodium bromide salt is much more expensive than sodium chloride salt that's used in chlorinators. And bromine generators cost more than chlorine generators. So what are the benefits of saltwater hot tubs? One, more consistent bromine or chlorine levels. A saltwater system continuously monitors your bromine or chlorine levels. That means they only generate as much sanitizer as your water needs. This helps prevent huge fluctuations in water chemistry. Two, gentler soaking. Because the chlorinator is continuously creating small amounts of chlorine, the sanitizer level remains more stable to keep chloramines at bay. Also, salt water feels softer than traditional chlorinated water, so it's easier on your skin, hair, and eyes. And if you have a saltwater brominator, you'll experience even a gentler soak. Three, less maintenance. Since there's a steadier concentration of sanitizer being added to the water, you'll spend less time adjusting your hot tub water chemistry, and you won't have to constantly buy, store, and add chlorine or bromine. But regular water testing and balancing is still required, especially your pH levels, since that tends to be naturally higher in saltwater systems. Four, less ongoing cost. While you have to pay more upfront for a saltwater system, you'll spend less money on chemicals in the long run. Bags of salt are less expensive than chlorine or bromine, plus they're easier to handle. And after the initial dose of salt, your hot tub salinity will stay relatively steady unless it's diluted with fresh water. So what are the different types of saltwater systems? Almost any hot tub can be converted into a saltwater hot tub simply by adding a saltwater chlorinator or brominator. But you'll need to decide which type you'll want to use, an inline system or a drop-in system. Both convert salt into sanitizer in the same way, but they have a couple of important differences. Drop-in chlorinators are the easiest way to convert a saltwater hot tub. There's no permanent alterations necessary and setting up takes minutes. The only drawback is that you have a thin cord connected to your chlorinator cell that hangs over the side of the hot tub. Now, if you don't want a chlorinator line hanging over the side, you can get an inline saltwater system. This type of chlorinator must be spliced directly into your hot tub plumbing. So if you're not an experienced plumber, you may want to hire a pro for inline installation. Also, these kits may void your hot tub warranty, so check with your spa manufacturer before installing one. Finally, here's how to convert a saltwater hot tub. It actually takes more work to prepare your hot tub than it does for the actual conversion. You'll also need to have a GFCI weather protected outlet near your hot tub area if you're using a drop-in chlorinator. One, drain and clean your hot tub. You'll have to remove any residual sanitizer or contaminants before converting to salt water. So start by adding a hot tub line flush to your water before you drain your spa. 
And if you need help with this step, be sure to check out our other video on how to drain and clean a hot tub. Two, refill the hot tub. Attach a hose filter to your garden hose and refill your spa with clean filtered water. Three, Test the salinity and add salt. Before adding anything to the fresh water, test the salinity. Tap water naturally has a small amount of salt in it, so testing it first will help you avoid adding too much salt. Then add your salt. In general, you'll need about two and a third cups of salt for every 100 gallons of fresh water. Remember, you can always add more later, but you'll have to partially drain your hot tub again if you overdo it. The salt takes time to dissolve, so keep jets on and retest your water after about 30 minutes. Four, test the water chemistry. Test your pH, alkalinity, or calcium harness and make sure they're in range. If anything needs tweaking, adjust it now. And if you need more help balancing your hot tub chemicals, be sure to check out our other videos. You'll also wanna add an initial small dose of chlorine or bromine to the water when starting up for the first time. Five, mount the chlorinator control panel. Attach all the cables and then place the chlorinator into the deepest part of your hot tub. Six, plug in and start the generator. Your salt water system should start working right away to keep your water sanitized without needing any harsh chemicals. And if you need more help maintaining your hot tub, grab our free hot tub cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash spa sheet. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe for more hot tub maintenance tutorials. That's it. Thanks again and happy soaking.